Hi guys, welcome back to another how-to on lightsabers. Um, I've been wanting to do a video like this for some time. It's a kind of a follow-up to my Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber built from parts and bits of junk um, that I, I did some time ago. Uh, so I promised uh, uh, some of the people that have seen the video that I'd do a follow-up. Um, you can actually use some of these parts um, for the Obi-Wan like lightsaber as well so it could be relevant for that if you had a go at building that or had seen that and been interested in that video. Um, what I'm showing you today is the um, Luke Skywalker um, homemade DIY version 2 or V2 lightsaber that featured in Return of the Jedi um, it, it featured in some parts of the film and um, it was also a throwback to the original um, New Hope Star Wars New Hope um, as it was the lightsaber, the stunt lightsaber that they used to make this uh, light light effect um, so it was used for two films um, Alec Guinness was holding the original V2 lightsaber and they put a motor inside it and uh, that gave the the spinning effect for the beam of light to come out of the lightsaber so let's get to it and um, so um, I, I posted some photographs on Facebook, some of the groups on Facebook of the, the lightsaber that I built um, from, from different parts. I'm going to go through the different parts with you that, and uh, kind of slow, sort of show you how to put them together as best as I can. Um, so let's start off with the uh, most obvious, obvious pieces. I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit. Um, so let's start off with the bass. Um, for the base, uh, you want um, two of these. I think. these are, this is a um, uh, thing that you find in the shower, uh, in the bathroom you put in the shower. There are uh, those suction uh, uh, kind of hooks. Uh, it'll probably go that way, wouldn't it? Uh, and then you wind this piece here and it tightens with the suction pad at the back. Well, what you do is you're going to remove this piece here, this piece, and it will just pop off with a bit of force. You get the um, your hand under this and if you just prise it, let's see if I can actually do it actually, but I don't want to break it. You, you kind of have to work around it and it does pop off. It, it, it pops off with a little bit of pressure. I'm not going to do it on camera because I've already got some done here. So um, what you're left with is one of these. Now you need two of these uh, so you can get rid of the rest of it. It's only this piece you need and that's for the pommel part, the base pommel part. Now once you've got two of these, you, what you're going to do is you're going to remove one of these pieces that's inside only you only have to remove one of them you with a bit of force and pliers uh, you, these pull out so you're going to get rid of this piece you're going to have with a little cavity there and one the other one um, you're going to leave in but they have these neat little holes all the way around there um, in so what you do is you you're going to put little bits of card inside these uh, this is this is like a cut card from a box uh, plastic a uh, carton or or something like or even a, a credit card or a uh, you know that kind of uh, business card material it's kind of that credit card material and um, so you're going to cut little squares like that that fit in and protrude out about an, half an inch and what why you're doing that is because they're going to marry up with the other side because you have two of these and they will fit in and act as kind of reinforcers like oh, did they get that on, on camera there you go so you're going to end up with that shape there. Now I've drilled a hole in one of those at the top because that's where um, that's going to be part of where the threaded bar goes through that holds the whole lightsaber together, which I'll show you in a bit. So that's your, basically the formation of your pummel. Or in the original uh, lightsaber, it was a, a, an armated shank um, hand wheel to bath, uh, bath or sink tap. Um, the actual V2 actually didn't have one of them. It was a recreation of that, so it actually wasn't the original one either. Only the original Alec Guinness Hero Prop used the um, armature shank tap. The V2 used a kind of a copy. It probably it was lathed or machined. Uh, so that will give you that shape. For the rest of the pommel, you're going to need a tea light or two tea lights. You're going to scoop out the candle. Um, don't heat it up to scoop it out, scoop it out and uh, whilst it's cold or, or, or set, just dig it out with a, with a knife uh, and, and it will flick out quite easily in one piece. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut down, I'll just put, I'll just put this back, you're going to cut cut it down, uh, both both uh, tea lights, um, to one to about um, half an inch and one to about an inch. 
uh, and uh, you're going to fill them with these washers. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put all the sizes of the washers on uh, on the uh, comment section. So I'm going to put all the sizes of everything, the tools, the the uh, bits and parts. So don't worry about that. Um, uh, on these videos, I'm quite comprehensive when I put down what I've used, so I won't miss anything and make sure that you have all the information you need. So. Um, these washers, you're gonna need, for the build, you're gonna need about 10 of these washers. They're, they're large washers, they're quite chunky and thick. Uh, so um, three of them goes in one part, one tea light, once, and four of them will go in the other part. And you're gonna glue them in, you'll set them in, like so. There's your, let me show you the back of the tea light. Uh, of that one I've done already, so I've set that in. I've used uh, this stuff, it's called um, epoxy resin. Well, it's kind of, it's kind of a epoxy resin, uh, and you get these two bottles. Um, use whatever you want to, really, but I've used this because it's quite clean to use. And basically, you, get, you mix it together. Hey, uh, so, where's my. So, I use a, a, a back of a paintbrush, put it on a piece of card, mix them in equal, equal, equal amounts. Let me just get that on camera for you. And you, um, yeah, use the back of a paintbrush and mix it in. And then you apply it. Uh, I, uh, as I said, this is the one I've done already. I filled it with epoxy and it's set. And then what you do once with these are set is that they go um, with using the epoxy resin again. You, you, you stick it to the bottom and you just so on camera. And same goes for the, the one on that you filled. Uh, so the bottom one's gonna have the two um, washers. The top one is gonna have a hole in it for the threaded bar again to go through. And that will join up with the hole that you put in that, the, the pull part. And that will go over there, so like so. And once they're epoxy glued together, that will create your, your pummel. I hope that's quite clear. I hope I've made that quite clear to follow. Um, so I'll just go back to the actual one on the actual finished lightsaber. Oh, and there you go. That's what it should look like, something like that. The uh, D ring was put in afterwards. I uh, just drilled two small holes each side of the protruding part of plastic there. Um, and uh, yeah, I just squashed the D ring in. Uh, I, I got that from um, a curtain tie pair of old curtains that had a you know the tie that goes around them but you can get them on ebay I'll, I'll put the link as well at the bottom for that okay so we've done the pummel next part let's do the um this the the, the cylinder part the chrome cylinder because i'm going to work my way up this lightsaber so it's kind of won't miss anything it'd be more straightforward so, right, the the cylinder part is a is a bicycle stunt peg so it actually looks like this when you buy them you usually get two obviously for a, for a bicycle uh, you know the BMX stunt pegs these screw on the, the reason I've chose this is because it's got part of chrome and then some of it is kind of got a design on it but that's going to be covered up by the Graflex part anyway so but it's the, it's the right thickness and weight and it's quite substantial so I've used that and it kind of forms the base of what your lightsaber is made of anyway so um, and I've cut it down, so you cut it down. I'll, I'll show the um, there's the part I've cut off it, like so. Uh, use a hacksaw for that. I'll I'll show the measurements of what you need to cut it down to, um, on the link below on the on the comment section. So don't worry about that. As I said, I'll keep referring to um, the comment section where it comes to sizes and parts. Uh, so there you go. So. So once you've cut down your your piece, as I said this is going to form the base of the lightsaber. Okay. It's got a, it's got a little hole at the, the one end, and of course it's, it's open at the other. Um, and uh, the way I've done it is this will be the bottom part, so that is going to connect to the pommel. Um, so the, the pommel piece, you know, will will connect like so, uh, and then the, the threaded bar will go through and join them. Um, so you've got the, um, the the cylinder part. I call it the cylinder part. It's basically the the, the middle of what, where the graflex is going to be attached to. For the graflex, um, what I did was 
um, I cut a piece of tin so, um, out from a, 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 a biscuit box, but you can use, you know, one of those um, deodorant uh, gift sets, uh, boxes, anything like that. Um, I'm just going to show you the sort of tin, so you know, the lid of one, a tin here, um, uh, you could use, um, you can cut out the piece that's um, smooth, or the base, oh, you actually better use the base of a tin actually, you get more, more metal. And it's less uh, it's less um, design on it, or, or and it's much smoother. So um, I'll uh, yeah again I'll I'll put the measurements of this piece of tin uh, that I, I've cut out on on, on this comment section, so you know how big to cut it. Uh, make sure when you're doing this, you do it very carefully because it's going to be quite sharp when you've cut it with scissors. Um, yeah, as I said, you cut this with scissors. You don't. You don't actually need to cut it um, with pliers or anything, or anything kind of sharp in that. Scissors will, will, will be fine, as long as they're strong scissors, uh, you know, heavy, heavy duty scissors. Um, and then sun the edges. Yeah, you have to be very careful because this would be razor sharp, so be careful with this. Uh, just with sandpaper, sun the edges. And what you do then is once you've, you've got your shape cut out, you, you kind of roll it into a, uh, like this sort of shape, so it keeps a, a nice circle shape and then you're going to uh, fold it over like so. Uh, let me just so the camera can pick it up the different contrast and basically that's your Graflex part um, before, before the, 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 the box button section is added. I'm atta I attach this again with the same way as I, I did with the, um, the, the pummel is using the epoxy. Uh, so it's a little bit more tricky. You, you're going to have to put some epoxy on the inside uh, and smooth it out with the back of the paintbrush so you cover all the areas. And then you're going to tape it um, to the. To, once you've got it lined up, you're going to tape it. Um, yeah, use use cellar tape or anything. It can be easily removed, but tight. Make sure it's good and tight. The seal and it's as close to the cylinder and you know all, all the sides are, are plumb and flush with the cylinder, and it'll be a better effect then. Uh, I've just left about half an inch protruding out um, as it is on the original V2 um, and then that, that's your Graflex kind of round the, round the cylinder part done. And I'm going to show you on the lightsaber, there you go. The, the reason it's a slightly different colour, it, it starts to wear the actual the, the tarnish, it tarn it, which is quite nice because it gives you kind of that more authentic weathered look. So that, that's the same piece once it's on to the lightsaber. Right, we're going to do the uh, lightsaber control box now. Right, for the for that, I use just a regular stapler. So you know the paper stapler. It's usually most of it's plastic, but the inside's going to be metal. So you remove that. You basically just break it open. These things are. If you want to see how I did that, if you look at my other video on the Obi Wan Kenobi lightsaber, um, you you can see how I did it. Um, yeah, it's quite simple to do. I said so these these. Staples are very cheap to get hold of as well, and the, the plastic ones. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to get inside this. So, this is in two pieces, um, and you're going to take these two pieces apart. Once you once you take them out of the stapler, you, you um, you're left with two pieces like this. Now you're going to keep both pieces because one of them forms the the box part and one of them is going to be kind of like a tray inside of it and it, it's quite nice the fact it goes it goes slides quite nicely inside and this is where you're going to attach your uh, um, circuit board that, that um, is on the original one uh, so they're quite a nice little pair or a match you know a, a set for for that purpose um, uh, I'm going to show you on the original how I did it now so um, you cut it down. I said I'll show the measurements of how I did it on on the comment section, and um, you cut it down to make sure. It, basically, it's going to be the same size as the Graflex sheet of uh, tin that you, you cut, because obviously it's it's supposed to give the illusion that it's all in one piece anyway. Um, so the uh, once you've cut that down, um, you you're going to um, uh, epoxy it again to to the to the uh, whole thing to, to the actual um, to the cylinder and the Graflex thing you've wrapped round, tin piece you've wrapped round. Um, the I'll just show you now, the circuit board actually I got from a uh, a circuit board I bought online. Um, I think it was a vintage kind of one I think it was a 
I think it was an Atari or something, if I remember right. I can't remember, but it, it, it basically it comes like that. And I basically just cut this piece off. It actually went all the way to the end. I cut it down then. And then, if you look at the side, I, I epoxied it um, to the uh, to that inside paper clip piece. Sorry, paper stapler, sorry, um, piece there. So uh, that's basically the same piece there on the side. I'll just show them lined up. Uh, with this one, I actually did an extra thing. Actually, um, if I can show you, I, I did a, a, a you know, the uh, the original Obi Wan Kenobi lightsaber has got a, the bubble effect. Um, these are impact pads, um, so I've done kind of a, a two in one. Um, so I uh, I've glued those so I can alternate them. So if I wanted to, I can, if I can show you on camera, and you can see, there you go, I can have that effect if I wanted to as well, uh, or I can have it back the way the original one is uh, you slide it out and slide it back in and then you've got the 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 the, the ch board circuit board effect so moving on now we're, we've done the graphlex part uh we're going to move on to the uh black and silver um part now um so what you need to start with that is one of these this is a um uh, a thing that goes on, you know, the sink uh, to funnel water into the sink. It's like a mini hose, and it's flexible. So I think it's called. I think actually it's called a flexible mini hose or a flexible water spout. Um, and this is going to be used with one of these. This is a just a regular piece of um, uh, pipe, so metal pipe, uh, chrome or m metal coloured pipe. Um, and it's been cut down. Uh, yet again, I'll do the sizes on the. The link uh, on the um, on the comment section below, uh, so you know the sizes. Uh, so don't worry about that. As I said before, um, this is just to kind of show you practical application of putting it together. But I said I'll put all the details on the uh, on the comment section. So what you have to do is you're going to put um, some lubricant on this. This to be kind of like Vaseline or something. Probably is best to use Vaseline. Uh, so it'll go through and pass through because you're gonna it's gonna go through this um, uh, set, this rubber hose here uh, so and so I've done one already that's uh, been pushed all the way through and then it's gonna have to and then it's gonna have to be cut um, uh, I'll, again, again I'll show you the measurements uh, on the comment section um, but you, so that protrudes at the top and then it protrudes at the bottom and then you're gonna start building up the, the that this section here uh, like so with curtain rings and these rubber washers um, um, the they're, they're kind of called cable uh, washers or something like that so curtain rings and these rubber cable washers uh, I've, I'll, I'll put all the exact names of the the things um, in the comment section uh, so I've started already doing one so basically the, the, what you do is you're gonna just layer it over and you're gonna build up your your um, thing as you go along, your your this section. So I'm just trying to show you as best I can on camera so, um, how to do it. So oh, I'm gonna move these down and and basically you're just gonna keep going and and keep building until and you'll see even with the little I've done already on this, you can start to see it, it taking shape and it will eventually. You just have to be a bit persistent. Um, and eventually it will they'll they'll all move together and there you go and we'll and you just keep pushing them together another and then you use put another washer on another sorry um curtain ring on and you see if you just as you keep, you'll see you keep doing it you, you'll eventually have your the right effect that you're looking for and you just keep going and that's the kind of effect that you're going to end up with once you're finished. Um, so next next thing would be the um, I call this the midsection emitter um, part. I don't know I, I, on, on the original it's part of the, the the World War One rifle grenade uh, on the on the Obi Wan Kenobi lightsaber, but uh, on the V2 it was all all built again just just um, from scratch. So. Um, yeah, I call this the midsection emitter. Uh, so that would be the you take a plug 
uh, a regular rubber plug that you use in the sink. Um, if you can go for the smaller one, I'm not sure if this one actually is a bit too big. Um, you go for if you use this usually in hardware sections. You see them. You go for the, the smaller type, and you're basically going to um, marry this with a with a washer. And I'll get one of those washers that I told you you're going to need probably about ten for the whole build. And you're going to remove the little the little hook here and get a Stanley knife or, or something you know like a little knife and just cut that away that little that little disc or, or rim away of rubber and then you're gonna place the um, the washer over and that gives you your your effect um, the, the the kind of effect that the, the, the midsection emitter has um, like that so basically it'll be a little like that uh, and then what I did for the other side is I put a once this is all, once this is cut away, uh, I put a smaller washer. So uh, this is a large washer. Then you put like a medium-sized washer underneath on the inside, and that'll give you a kind of a effect. That let me just show you on the original. See that sort of thing you're looking for. So the next part is the um, uh, the emitter pipe, um, the link or, or join. Um, if I show you the original there, you can just see, and I'll just put that next to it. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your emitter pipe and you're showing camera and this is a, a it also acts as, a, as one of the bolts because um, it's got little teeth in it and actually the threaded bar fits quite nicely into that and screws into so it, the pommel is one of your bolts that we've done at the beginning the pommel that I did and this is the the part that will act as the the bolt for the for the tightener for the whole lightsaber to hold it together so it's quite an important piece so what you're going to do with this is you're going to the same piece you're going to take your um let me just show you this is your chrome um uh, pump soap pump uh and you know, this comes apart you, you're not going to need all of it you're just going to all the, all the piece we're looking for or want to keep is this piece so it comes apart it does come apart quite easily you're going to get rid of this piece here, you're going to get rid of that, and you're going to be left with this piece here. Right, on the camera. Okay, so what you need to do with this piece is you're going to use some duct tape, get some duct tape. Uh, so I've used this silver duct tape because it's really strong, uh, very durable. You're going to cut it into little strips and you're going to just build up a little. Um, little rim round there and that's to hold it into the last admitter part because it's slightly just undersized uh, and you're going to stick that right it's you don't need to glue or anything for that it'll actually just hold hold itself the glue is very the, the glue on the tape is very sticky so uh, so you're going to do that and then you're going to use that epoxy and you're going to set this piece this piece here if we show you, into your pipe so like that and you're going to fill that with epoxy so, and then that's what you should be left with after that explanation. Right. And that's going to be really strong as well. Once that's set, the epoxy leave it for a good few hours. So you've taped the edge of this where it's, I mean, it, it's, it's just a mill um, all the way around. And then you've set your little plumbing pipe into the, the, the um, soap dispenser head. And that's what you're left with. So that's your part. Now the piece at the top, the final piece is this is called a, uh, a a well it's an exhaust part that you use and you actually there's two of these that you use so I'm going to show you what they look like when you use them they go like that and it's like a, a called a sanitary weld I think they call it um, and uh, like a thing apparently when you're using it on the car it'll, it cl something clamps it like that and that holds your exhaust together so you need obviously just one of these. Um, what, you, what you're going to do is this piece here, this piece here that I've shown you, is going to go into the bottom, and let's just go through like that, and that that gives you that shape. Uh, I'll put a washer on top just to kind of level the surface, uh, and the little piece goes through there, and then that's your that's your last piece, uh, and then I'll just show you on the other the original lightsaber. There you go, and that's that piece at the top there. Um, 
and then I've added a, I've added a little thing. I've put a little piece of um, a tin round the edge there, um, just to give it a kind of bit more of a definition and shape. Um, and I weathered it obviously as well. So um, I'll tell you what I have missed: the the uh, wing clamp at the side. Um, that is to two pieces um, to make that shape. Um, first of all, you're going to need one of these. It's like a bracket. I've, I've put the proper names of everything in the link, as, as I said before. This is a, a bracket for holding uh, like a sort of furniture in place when building furniture together. So uh, it bends on there. So you just need one of these pieces. So you, you'll take the, you'll take this apart. So is it going to come off? because you, you only need a little bit of this so you're going to take this apart so you just want this piece here and you're basically just going to get get some little bit pliers and you're just going to this, this comes apart really easily because it's only it's only held together by this little thin piece of metal in the middle that acts as a hinge so once this is taken apart you're going to get um, a key ring uh, bottle opener like this the, the, actually this isn't actually the best one to get the best one to get are the ones that are actually probably look let me just show in camera you can get ones without this piece here so they're, they're kind of just flat one flat piece I'll, i've got the link uh, that i'll put on I've, I've sourced it and i'll send it put it on the the comment section as well but um i didn't have one of them um so i use this type but i had to cut it cut it down so i just because i was just left with this piece here so i'll show you on there uh, like that and basically you just slide uh, where's that wind clamp gone? You're gonna just give me the left one piece like that, and it's good that will go over like that, and then it goes over the the bottle opener, and then it's uh, glued with a piece. There's a piece of rubber in there that's uh, super glued to the side, and that holds really tight. And there you have it. I think uh, I think I've covered everything now. So. Uh, as I said, I'll put the, the link on everything below. Um, if you've got any questions, please do ask. I'm happy to um, answer your questions. It would be of more help if you're gonna give this builder a go. And uh, yeah, just drop a comment. Don't forget to like my videos. Uh, subscribe if you wanna see future content similar to this. Uh, bye for now.